Okay, now I've gotten to about the circumference that I'm going to be using. And since I don't know anybody else who's having a baby, and I don't have enough gray yarn to make a, hu a human, <laughs> an adult size one, I'm going to make one for my uh, stuffed animal, Highland Coo Ramirez. This is almost about the... Um, probably be a little bit um, bigger if you wanted it for a baby size um, on this particular one. But for old Ramirez here, I'm going to be making it for. Oops, he's tangled up in yarn. I just made it about the size of his little um, tan. So, Ramirez is going to have a new hat. So, I'm just making it the size of that. So, mine ended up a little funky in the middle. I think I was working a little bit too tightly behind the camera. <laughs> but it's okay, it needs to go over his tan. So, I'm making mine from Ramirez. There are plenty of good tutorials on how to make the standard beanie, which is what this is. This is just going to be the standard beanie and nothing fancy until we get to the end where I'll be making some popcorn stitches. But I'll be making them a little bit smaller. So now that we've got the circumference, we're just going to work straight down. And from here on out, there are no more increases. It's just going to be um, Just normal single crochet all the way down. So um, there are plenty of sites that should to tell you um, how big an adult or a baby or a teenager's head is and what the uh, length of the hat should be from the crown. And I will put a link to one in my description in the bottom. And so you just basically from here work down to about an inch or two away from the crown. And that's when we're going to add um, a line and our bottles and so I'll meet you back there when we get to the end. Alright, see you soon. Okay, at this point I am about here. That looks a bit funny because his arms are stuffed up under there. And that's about as far as I want to go so I can start doing the, the bobbles. And so, before we start doing the bobbles, we're going to do a front loop only single crochet all the way around to make a little line. If you don't know what a front loop single crochet is, this is not good to show, are you? Okay, hold on a second. Okay, it doesn't autofocus very well, so I needed to restart it. Okay, so basically, you have these, these lines here or as some people like to call them, V's. Sorry for the strange noises. Okay, and you're just going to go through the front. You can see that. Because this is the front loop, and this is the back. So, we're just going to go through front all the way around until we get back. And this is going to give us, you can see, a little bit of a line here. So 
So just go all the way around doing single crochet in the front loop and we'll meet you back when you get to this point. Okay, I lied. <laughs> we'll actually be going through the back loop. So I undid those stitches that I had done and uh, we'll be going through the back loop only to get the line. But yeah, I was wondering why it wasn't showing right and I thought it was just the camera not showing. Anyway, so yeah, through the back loop. Oops, I think I got a little close there. So there we go. There's the line. Now you see it. So we'll go through the back loop. Right here. Ooh, hold on. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Always good timing when you're filming things. Okay. So just like that, single crochet in the back loop. And this will give us this line here. And when we come back to where we started, we'll be on the other row, but this is going to be hidden for the, the nose guard anyway. So we don't need to worry about it being a little staggered. So, go all the way around, and when we get back here, uh, I'll be back. Okay. Now we're coming back around. Sorry, I always work in my lap, so this is a little awkward for me. So we're coming back around to where we'll meet. And this is that's it. That is. Okay. There we go. And now we have this line that goes all the way around. And this is where we're going to put our rivets. And to make the rivets, first we're going to figure out where we want to place them. Now, I obviously want to have this hidden by what would be the nose guard, or the front or back of the nose guard, it doesn't really matter. So this is going to be front of my hat. So I'm just going to, you know, fold it in half. And you can either be really precise and count out the stitches you have, or you can kind of wing it and and just place them where you, you think that they'll look okay. Now first, we're going to want to have our, where our nose guard is going to be. So I'm just going to use my twisty ties and I'm going to figure out how wide I want it to be. This isn't a very big hat that I'm making. If you're making a child's hat you'll probably want to figure out how wide the child's nose is or if it's an adult hat you know the same thing. So it'll be like the width of the nose. You know we'll use we we'll use Al here as a guide. So say the hat you know fits him right here Oh, now he looks angry. <laughs> so we would want, you know, about four stitches on this one for his nose. And so I think on this size hat, because it's pretty small, uh, four stitches is probably fine. So I'm just going to fold it back in half. And this one here does count as a stitch. You know, it is it'll go like this. So so we're going to say that this is going to be my nose guard. So we're going to put one stitch marker there. And 
and it it would help if these might be a little different color, so you can tell which you, when is your your nose guard is starting. But for me, I'm just gonna twist them over again, so they'll be smaller than the other ones, and that'll be where my, the in between where the nose guard is gonna go. So the rest of the area I can, and I'll probably need about the same size. So that's one, two, three, four, five, that's six stitches actually. So I'll do the same on the back. So that's two, four, and six. So go in here. Put in there and then just twist over and there's two here this doesn't need to be super precise unless you want it to be Otherwise, it's pretty freeform. You can just kind of, kind of go with it. Okay, so that's where our nose guard is going to be. So when you finish the hat, when we're doing the other part of the hat, we're going to have a strip that's going to go through here. Okay, now that we have where we're going to put our nose, uh, we got to figure out where we're going to do our rivets. And I'm going to stop this here before it stops itself because it doesn't record very long. I'll pick it up again.